Today we will be learning how to make shipping boxes. In particular, telescoping tray boxes, which means a box that comes with a base and a lid. We will need only a few materials today, including a box cutter, a tape measure, a stapler, a folding machine, and cardboard. For this example, we are using C flute. When measuring the product, we want to first make sure it is already protected. Using our tape measure, we will record the length, width, and height of the product. Do not add to the depth measurement unless you are planning to add more protection on top. This is determined by adding 5 inches to the width and length, 4 inches for the height, 2 on each side, and 1 inch for protection. We will lose 2 inches on each side from folding up the sides. So this means we have 4 inches to the width and height dimensions. Here we use a special folding machine. It is 2 inches, 2 and a half inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, 5 inches, and 6 inches. Another way to do this at home is to use anything that is 2 inches wide as a guide. Line it up on the edge of the cardboard and use any dull object to outline a groove into the 2 inch mark, then fold by hand. After all four sides of each cardboard sheet is folded, we will then use our box cutter to create slits. On each corner of the sheets, we will create a slit. Each slit should be parallel to each other. Our corners should now fold up and in easily to create our box shape. However, we will need a stapler to hold them in place. For smaller boxes and shorter heights, two staples per corner should be enough. But if it is larger and taller, then three staples is recommended. Repeat this process for the second cardboard sheet. Now we have two boxes, a base and a lid that fit together perfectly. When packing our product in the box, we will want to have a bit of room for extra protection. 